Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Cardano ADA and giving you guys a price update as well as update on the news and hype surrounding Cardano. So right now we do see about a 5.29% decrease in just the last 24 hours, pushing us all the way down to $2.72 from about a $2.97 all-time high that we did hit in the past couple of days. If we actually look at the lowest part of today, though, we did actually go from $2.97 all the way down to $2.66. That's why it's always important to remain either holding or obviously selling at uh, you know these top marks. And we're going to talk about really, like I said, where Cardano could be going or heading in the next couple of months ahead. So taking a look at the last week alone, we are seeing about a 30.62% increase still in the last month with the massive 125.5% increase coming from about $1.20, $1.22. Um, just a great push up for Cardano. And I think there's a lot left in this push. So we actually take a look right now. We can see the market cap sitting around that $92.6 billion in the volume in the last 24 hours as well at about about $8.2 billion. So if you guys don't know, Cardano ADA is a blockchain platform built on a proof of stake consensus protocol that validates transactions without high energy costs. And that's a big one there. Without high energy costs, obviously a lot of institutional traders are loving that and they want to jump on board because they believe there is a long-term future in something like this without those high energy costs. We see development on Cardano uses that Haskell programming language, which is described as enabling Cardano to pursue evidence-based development for unparalleled security and stability. So we're going to take a quick look, like I said, into Cardano. First off, we're going to start with some of my own tweets. If you guys aren't following me, I suggest doing so. Crypto Profit YT on Twitter. So Cardano never fails to impress. I'll see you guys at $3 ADA. So this was tweeted at about $2.10 ADA. I think we figured out in the last video of Cardano. So this is definitely a great push up. You know, a lot of people excited about this. We went to $2.97. That's uh, close enough to $3 in my opinion. So we basically hit that $3. Hopefully we will get to that $3 here in the upcoming weeks ahead. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. But I do want to talk a little bit more about all the dates coming up for Cardano that are going to continue to hype this coin up. We see Cardano ADA announced for smart contracts to be released September 12th, 2021. Imagine where this brings us in 2022. So this is absolutely huge. You know, having all these dates kind of come together with the help of the Cardano Summit, obviously coming September 25th and 26th. They're going to have 20 local meetup events, and they're going to be able to bring so many different people together. Obviously, a ton of applications coming in for what towns and cities they're going to be going to. But just imagine how many different people are going to learn about something they had nothing or knew nothing about. Obviously, smart contracts are going to be in place before the summit as well. So they're going to going to get that option to talk about smart contracts in detail and depth. And uh, I'm sure a lot of good will come out of this summit from 25th and 26th of September. If we jump into the next one, this is definitely an article that talks a little bit more about how could green Cardano cryptocurrency A to take over Bitcoin and Ethereum. So when they call it a green cryptocurrency, obviously they're talking about environmentally, uh, you know, environmentally friendly. And if we jump down a little bit farther, we can actually see, um, I'm trying, I don't know if I can pause that, probably can't pause it, but Cardano is a blockchain platform and it has its own internal cryptocurrency called ADA. They talk about the tokens are named after Augusta Ada King or Ada Lovelace, a 19th century consent, uh, British countess known for her work on theoretical computation engine. And we're going to jump down a little bit farther. Obviously, that's not exactly what we're here for. I wanted to see what are the reasons for Cardano's success. This is really why I pulled this article out altogether. So over the last two weeks, the cryptocurrency market has been rallying. Bitcoin and Ethereum have been leading the way, but altcoins, alternative digital currencies to Bitcoin have also gathered pace in the price race. Cardano's price surge came after announced major upgrade Alonzo, which will launch in September. Alonzo will introduce smart contracts to the blockchain. Smart contracts are programs obviously stored on a blockchain that run when predetermined conditions are met. They are typically used to automate the execution of an agreement, which will kind of allow you know Cardano to deploy their own smart contracts and pave the way for its own decentralized applications or dApps. So another reason for Cardano surge is that from August 25th, its coin will be listed on Japan's exchange after all authorities, uh, you know, by the country will have really that strictest criteria. I don't know if you guys know this, but Japan is actually one of those um, countries that have very, very strict criteria when it comes to allowing cryptocurrencies or altcoins on their, uh, you know, market in general. So this is definitely a big deal. Cardano jumping to Japan, 
August, August, like I said, August 25th. And I think a lot of Japan, um, you know, people that are going to be investing in are Japanese. I think they're going to be very, very happy that uh, the Cardano price is kind of dipping here for them. So if they want to buy in, they're going to have decent price points. Instead of buying at $3, they can buy at least $2.72 or even maybe even lower if we continue on this downward uh, little dip here. There's a couple other things to take a look at when it comes to Cardano. So obviously Cardano plans to build national ID blockchain system in Ethiopia, as well as so many things going well with Ethiopia. Cardano is continuing to kind of spread their wings and do a bunch of different things, a bunch of different updates all at the same time. If we continue down a little bit here, we can actually see that uh, there's a lot more that comes into play. So the Cardano network plans to put forward a bid to the Ethiopian government proposing blockchain technology for a national ID system. Charles Hoskinson revealed the scheme while updating the crypto community on progress made by the Cardano team in Ethiopia, where the Ethereum co-founder is exploring the potential blockchain in a developing context. We've talked about this before. I don't love when they you know, go with the Ethereum co-founder at this point. I mean, the market cap is number three. We're continuing to grow. Cardano's done such great big things, and everyone knows who Charles Hoskinson is at this point in time if you are in crypto for longer than just you know a month. Uh, so kind of questionable if they you know continue on with the ethereum co-founder but jumping into bankers issue seismic warning bitcoin ethereum bnb cardano and xrp could replace the dollar in just five years as a crypto market price adds one trillion so bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have roared back over the last month after a china and elon musk induced sell-off the bitcoin price last night broke above 50k per bitcoin for the first time since may so this is a little bit older of an article i think it was actually yeah, it was out yesterday, so that makes a little bit of sense referring to that 50K, uh, 50K Bitcoin price that we did see on the, I believe, August 22nd. But they uncovered several findings that illustrate a seismic shift in financial services resulting from the evolution of blockchain-based digital assets. And like I said, the biggest thing to really note is bankers issue seismic warning that Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Cardano, and XRP could replace the dollar in just five years as crypto market price adds $1 trillion. So, if this continues on, we are in the correct section of investing. I'll tell you that right now. We are going to see absolutely, um, you know, tons of tons of retail as well as institutional investors jumping in and getting involved with Cardano. I do want to jump back to the price chart right now and give you guys kind of my thoughts on where we're at right now and will we actually break above three dollars so right now we're seeing about two dollars and 73 cents there's so much good coming in the next couple of months but a lot of people always buy the hype and sell the news so there's a very big possibility that we remain right between maybe a two dollars and fifty cents to three dollar range for the next upcoming couple of uh, really weeks and months ahead i will say realistically there's a very good shot though that we increase over you know rather than decrease past the two dollars and fifty cents we could most likely see a $3 price point before smart contracts come out. I think if we just have some kind of bullish look in the market for a little bit, as of right now, guys, we are seeing Bitcoin at $48,482, which is obviously much lower than that 50 k that we were once at when Cardano was on its push up. So if we do see the market in all kind of you know pushing up, I do expect Cardano to follow and pushing back to that $3 price point is definitely a thing uh, that I could see Cardano doing. Obviously, like I said, big, big dates coming up. Obviously, you know, August 25th, we have September 12th, and I believe, I believe the uh, summit, I don't know exactly when that was, September 25th and September 26th, I believe as well. So there's tons of dates coming, uh, tons of things happening with Cardano. And, you know, if you just go to their website, do your own research, remember, I'm not a financial advisor, you can actually find out more on their use cases being education, retail, agriculture, government, finance, healthcare, so many different use cases. They talk about their roadmap as well. Obviously, smart contracts being a huge one, but we do have governance and scaling coming up next and just huge things that could be coming with Cardano. So thank you guys again for tuning in for a little bit of a kind of update. I do want to say, guys, by the end of the year, I'm still going with that 3 to $5 Cardano price point. And by the end of the bull market part two, I could easily see Cardano pushing closer to a 7 to $10 price point. I know a lot of you guys are coming after me for saying 3 to $5 for the end of the year. Do remember, I'm always very, very realistic, conservative, um, you know, trying to stay on the reasonable side of things when it comes to Cardano. A lot of people saying, you know, $100 Cardano is definitely a possibility by the end of the year. Definitely not a possibility by the end of the year. I hate to tell you guys, I do not see that happening. I think, you know, $5 would be a great price target for us to see by the end of the year. So we'll keep it there and we'll see what really does take place and keep you guys up to date through it all. So thanks again, guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.